I have been waiting for this day, obviously, forever. This right here is the love of my life. My wife, my everything, the love. This is what life is about, is right this exact moment. It's this exact day. This is everything. Alan, Susie, thank you so much for this beautiful woman right here. I picked my family today. I picked the, the rest of my life. She's beautiful. I can't imagine my life without her. It's crazy. The rest of our life has just started. Good luck to you guys. Good luck to us. Good luck to life. Love you. years ago um, at All Saints Nursery School and I was new to town. Katie at three years old was already Queen Bee of Nursery School and um, she noticed some of the kids picking on me and she stood up and said that if they weren't going to be nice to me then she wasn't going to be their friend and we've literally been inseparable ever since. James, I, I literally could not imagine Katie marrying anyone else. You make her so happy, and I know you guys love each other so much. So I wanted to end this, though, with a few tips for you, James, because I need to make sure that my best friend's always smiling through life. Number one, listen closely. Always make sure that you have plenty of everything bagels, plenty of cream cheese, and Diet Coke. Always make sure that your fridge is fully stocked with Chardonnay. Always make sure that you keep her laughing. I've never seen her laugh so much with anyone else. And number five, always continue to tell her how much you love her. I'll never forget the first time she called and told me. You told her those words. When you say it to her now, she lights up the entire room. And I know 30 years from now, she'll still feel like the luckiest girl in the world. So here's to... Mr. and Mrs. McDaniel. Woo! Love you guys. Socks and sprinkles. Okay, how are we going to get ready for the socks like this? We need to figure out the socks. What is it? Yeah, you're like a winner. Okay, he's been to it. Some of us are getting married today, okay? I need help. I'm James' younger brother. If I could say three things that I've learned so far in my marriage, uh, number one being that, um, James, since you're married now, put your ring on your finger, your wife is always right. Number two, um, enjoy this first year of marriage. Just have fun, enjoy each other, wake up every day happy to see each other, go to bed happy to see each other, just enjoy every moment of your day. And third thing, as you guys grow older, there can be so many obstacles that you can be faced with in your lives. Do them together. Always do everything together because from this point on, you are now a team. And I hope in 50 years, if I can stand up here and uh, just honor how much you guys have grown together. And so, um, to you guys, I love you both. Baby doll, lovey dove, sweetheart, princess, sweepy, soulmate, best boy, and love of my life. Today is finally here. I officially become yours, and you have become mine. I have been waiting 3,695 days for the moment when I see you for the first time today. 
I want you to know how proud I am of you. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see your dress. I can't wait to see your smiling eyes. I can't wait to see your dad's proud smile with you on his arm. I can't wait to say my vows. I can't wait to call you my wife. Oh man. I can't wait to dance with you and whisper I love you in your ear. Do us a favor, stop what you're doing, close those beautiful eyes. Take a deep breath and remember, this is going to fly. The next thing we know, it will be 3,695 days from these magical moments we experienced today. What are we, lost or something? Did we do that? See you at the end of the aisle. Love, James. Love you. See you soon. Become your wife. James Douglas, I promise to love you for eternity. I promise to be there for you in every good time and every difficult time. I promise to be your best friend. I promise to fight with you passionately and love you passionately. I promise to encourage you and help you be the best man and husband you can be. I can't wait to begin our own life together. Just us starting today. It's me and you, baby, forever and ever. Today I feel complete because I get to marry you. Thank you for being my best friend, my lover, and my soulmate. I always knew that you were going to be the one, and once we finally said I love you on April 30th, 2006, that we would be together forever. I look forward to being 80 years old with you. I can't wait to see your beautiful blue eyes watch me walk down the aisle today. And I can't wait to hear the words, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. James Daniel. I love you more than words can ever describe. See you at 4.30 p.m. My soon to be husband. Love always, your bride Katie. For the record, counselor, who gives this beautiful young lady to marry this handsome young man? Her mother and I do. They met on their very first day of college at SMU. They were both checking into the same freshman dorm, is that right? And this shy little girl named Katie goes up to this guy named James, who she's never seen before, sticks her hand out and says, hi. I'm Caitlin Brubaker from San Diego. Is that the way that went? That's exactly it. And that was, that was it. Time stopped. He was <laughs> struck, and he's been in love with her ever since. I love that story. That's a great beginning for a story with romance. Would you please repeat these words after me? I, James, take you, Caitlin. I, James, take you, Caitlin. To be my lawful wedded wife. My lawful wedded wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To be true to you. To be true to you. To honor you. To honor you. To cherish you. To cherish you. And to care for you. And to care for you. In joy or in sorrow. Joy or in sorrow. In sickness and in health. Sickness and health. For so long as we both shall live. For so long as we both shall live. And now, Katie, your turn. Would you please repeat these words after me? I, Caitlin, take you, James. 
I, Caitlin, take you, James. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To be true to you. To be true to you. To honor you. To honor you. To cherish you. To cherish you. And to care for you. And to care for you. In joy or in sorrow. In joy or in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For so long as we both shall live. For so long as we both shall live. amazing night, and I am as excited as I can be to be here as the father of the bride. What a magical event this is. Katie's a very strong, capable young woman. Your mom and I are very proud of you, Katie. I met James that very first day at SMU. I don't think, I don't think he has a memory of it, you know, future father-in-law and all. Apparently, I failed to impress. Katie didn't. We welcome James into our family with open arms and with joy. He's a great guy, provides us with laughter and fun and uh, happiness in a very real way. He loves our daughter, and that's the most important thing going forward. May Katie and James be blessed with happiness that grows and with love that lasts and great health and prosperity going forward. A tribute to Katie and James. We love you guys. Katie and James here today in this beautiful place and in the presence of your family and your friends, you will each marry your best friend, the one you will live with, laugh with, and love. You will be asked to strengthen and comfort each other. You will also be asked to share in each other's happiness and to be with each other in all of the silent memories that life brings to two lovers who walk down its path together. This wedding will open the door to a brand new adventure for the two of you. The ultimate rewards of your marriage will be an unconditional love for one another and the creation of a zone of safety where defenses are never needed and barriers are never formed. No other human bond, vow, or promise is more unique or more sacred than the one you are about to make. I hereby happily pronounce you husband and wife.